<laughs> We're closed. Guys, it's me, Bigby. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Okay, okay, before you get all huffy, you, it was Snow who let me go, all right? It just, there was no sense in me staying in jail. She, she said so herself. Don't soil yourself, Woody. I'm sure he understands. And if he doesn't, he can take it up with the missus later. Luckily for you, I don't have the time to get pissed off about this right now. Well, come on in, buddy. Brent, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Just what in the fuck is wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. In fact, I'm in a good goddamn mood. So you should take advantage. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it You think with... I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, really, you, you shouldn't drink right now. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. And I feel like having a drink, okay? Have you seen her sister's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? I saw her come in with something, but... I didn't see where she put it. Nope, haven't seen it. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? Whatever. It's alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. And we're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. To the dead. All right, now help me. Gren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it, it's done! <laughs> <laughs> What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? What is the problem here? What stupid shit will you both not let go of? Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. 
What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a lowlife. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat, hairy ass. That's what he thinks. Just get out of here, Woody. Grin. I don't know where Lily's shit is. Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the role. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. I thought you said you would help me look. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. But what the fuck? I know you're not gonna leave. You do what you want. You always do what you want. Do you even give a shit about us? The strays. The ones that aren't in that fancy high-rise. Those of us that gotta work for a living. You may not believe this, but yeah, I care about everyone who came over. I don't know about that, Sheriff. You're friends with your friends, and we ain't friends. Why'd you even come here? There's nothing here to investigate. I can't be any use to you. I need to, uh, look through your sister's things. To look for clues? Um, if you want to put it that way.
Be honest, Sheriff. Why are you going after him? The guy that killed Lily. You could have quit a long time ago, but you're still going. Why? Did they give you this job for a reason? Or was this the only thing the business office would let you do? The guy I think did it? He and I have a history. A schoolyard grudge ain't a reason, Bigby. At least it ain't a good one. You just remember, whatever bullshit excuse you tell yourself, I'm counting on you. So don't have any more fuck-ups. If you were getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. Auntie Greenleaf. Gotcha. Hello, this is Snow White calling. Looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on, uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. Let's get going. All right, let's go. I don't want to miss him. I'll meet you there. All right, I'll see you there. <laughs> 